So this is where it gets really crazy. Okay. So these are different types of strategies they, they could use. And there's different times to do it because I've talked about market regime changes and they're fast. So here there's uh, one called the cash and carry arbitrage. So again, what they're doing is they're going to do something as an example, buy a spot asset, Bitcoin, sell the future to a profit between the difference between th those prices. And there's going to be also a carrying cost. Also, uh, there's going to be uh, what they call reversing arbitrage. This one I couldn't quite understand, but they'll sell the spot asset and simultaneously buy a future and exploit this risk reverse pricing difference and minimize their risks. Sort of like, kind of like hedging in a way. Um, and then the other thing is they have to obviously uh, factor in cost and timing consideration because on their accounting side, um, they have to do it in a way where it's always, always profitable. Okay. So this is where it gets really crazy. So there's three different types of models that you can do. Heston, S-A-B-R, uh, and local volatility models. So as I said, they're capturing the market volatility. And when you're dealing with options, you're really dealing with implied volatility. And, and I've kind of shown in various videos and some of my projects in my memberships where you can take advantage of those different volatil volatility moments. And this is where on the back testing, they're going to be back testing for bull market conditions and all the way in all the way on the other extreme of shock uh, pricing where something in the market gets shocked and the pricing, let's say flashes 20% in a matter of 10 minutes or like a flash cross, let's say. Um, this is really crucial because they have to be sure that they're accurate, especially in the, in the world of derivatives, which obviously is options and futures. It has to be dynamic, and a lot of time it changes so fast that there's a lot of uncertainty involved. And one of the ways they protect themselves is um, with the um, hide, uh, hedging these strategies. So, uh, you know, they're going to have, let's say, volatility models to develop effective hedging strategies against these different market risks.